Hey everybody, um, God, thanks so much, uh, both Bootleg and Nataku, um, I am getting a flood of new subscribers, so welcome, 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 um, this is the set done, uh, that's gonna be, uh, go going up on eBay, I think tonight, I wanna say? I gotta talk with the wife. She's the one that usually does the YouTube stuff. But anyways, um, I didn't get the Firelight stuff done, so I got it done. And I wanted to get uh, one more vid out um, so you guys can see uh, the Firelight effects. If you guys are interested in Firelight effects, let me know. I'll be happy to do a uh, a, uh, a how-to on that. Um, you guys seem to seem to like that. So just let me know, and I'll be, be happy to teach you guys. Um, it's a real... Uh, pretty easy way to, to make your stuff really pop on the battlefield. So let's go take a peek at this. Um, I did uh, Firelight down uh, in the uh, in the slave pits there. Um, here you go again. I'm gonna just kind of swap this out and then you guys can take a peek. About there I guess is about right. So you can see the uh, the firelight effect. Um, and again, uh, the firelight from the uh, the lava pools. Um, there's the one underneath, and you might have a hard time seeing it. Uh, let's see if I can get where there's a little bit of light on it. But that tip is done up in shades of, uh, of firelight. In a well-lit room, I mean, this is a dungeon down here, I have horrible lighting, but in a well-lit room, you'll actually see the gradients of light hit that spike, um, Here's one uh, floating door that leads down to a little uh, slave pit slash torture area. And I uh, finally got uh, my light effects done. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's gradients of firelight on it. And there is the door. And of course there's... Uh, leading to the roof. Uh, this one as well. And the last one right there. I guess it's very hard to tell with the light. Um, this has got some pretty interesting geometry to it. Um, this would be good for the, uh, the bolt throwers and um, and jet bikes, um, even those like flying, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, skateboards, little feet wing things. Um, so here is it from the back. Um, I actually have a parts list ends up being about, I want to say, oh, it's either 54 or 56, 56 pieces, um, and, um, I will, uh, I'll read that off real quick to you guys, um, okay, there we go. We have two large lava rock stands, two medium lava rock stands, two small lava rock stands to give you a nice uh, variation across your, your gaming table. And then the same as with the uh, Wasteland Ruins, we have two large, two medium, and two small. There are six, uh, six decks um, that are uh, roughly jet, jet bike size. And I've got six walkways that are elevated. Um, I've got uh, seven stairs that are uh, are the, the larger stairs. Um, I have a total of um, 
actually, I have a total of eight flying buttresses now. Um, let's see, one large deck with stairs, uh, one keep tower, um, the, uh, the lava pool insert that uh, goes uh, around that piece right there, which can also be put up and it acts as a, like a warp gate. Um, I'll show pictures of that in the future. Um, one ladder, um, one medium deck, three ground walkways, um, four ground sa slave pits with firelight, uh, three small stairs so that the ground stairs and the uh, the uh, the kind of uh, elevated uh, walkways can connect. And I've got two floating firelight grates to show where you can um, where troops can exit from, or you can do like a you know like a rescue kind of thing, uh, or get down into the dungeon sort of thing, whichever you prefer to play, but. Anyhow, I want to thank all of you, uh, you new subscribers, and uh, this is basically the kind of stuff I like to do. I like to get uh, uh, one to two gaming tables out a week, um, and uh, and stuff like that. Bigger projects obviously obviously take longer, and smaller ones go faster. But um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I try and mix it up, try and do some how tos and uh, answer questions, and oh, just. A plethora of stuff so stick around and I hope to keep you guys uh, motivated and having fun take care everybody love ya